Hello and welcome to a new video from me. Today we will join two tables using the transaction SE16H. I'm using the tables S flight and S carrier today. We see the different fields. I want to join the two columns carrier D from the table S flight and the table S carrier. And then I want to show the carrier name and the URL from the table S carrier. So we open the transaction SE16H. Here we have the input field table. We type in here our primary table, in our case the table S flight. Then we click on this icon, join definition. Then we type a name here for the join definition. Let's take test and now click on the icon create. Then we type in here our secondary table as carrier. Then we type in the number one. We can check here which columns we want to see. So I type here carrier ID, carrier name and the URL. We can pick an aggregation, but not today. And then we do a double click on the secondary table as carrier. And then we create here new conditions. So I type here the table field as carrier. So now we define the join. We join the carrier tree from the table as carrier. Here we can pick different methods, string operations, variables, constants, and so on. But we pick the reference. Then we type in here our primary table as flight. And we pick the column as uh, carrot. Okay, so we, we have to press enter here. Now we are able to pick the right columns. So carrot in our case. Okay. We have the options here, but we don't need it for this example. So we can click on save and we go back. And now let's run the selection. Okay, we see only the fields from the table as flight and the fields from the table as carrier are missing. This is because we forgot to pick the join definition, which we have created. So we go back here and here we pick the test join definition. And now we can run the select again. And now we see here the fields from the table as flight, the ID and the ID from the table as carrier and the fields airline and airline URL. So the join works pretty well and we can show the generated script if we click on this button here. Let's enlarge this window a bit and here we see the generated report. So we can do changes here or we can create our own program with this join. Yes. That was it. And if you don't want to miss any future videos about SAP, then subscribe to my channel and activate the little bell so that you're always notified when something new goes online. Thanks for watching and see you next time.